Okay, it's time for the Battle of Nanjun. They engulfed Cao Cao's massive navy in a sea of crimson flame. It was as if Sun Quan and his men's raw determination had become a towering inferno. However, Cao Cao narrowly managed to escape with his life, and he still possessed the most formidable fighting force in the land. It was only a matter of time before he would turn his attention south once more. They could not count on the miracle at Jerbi to repeat itself again. Convinced of their fate, Zhou Yu decided to take to the offensive. Together with Gan Ning, he would invade Nanjuin in Cao Cao's land of Jing. And after occupying it, he would move on to attack Xiangyang and seize control of Jing itself. With momentum on his side, he would force Liu Zhang of Yi to surrender, thus dividing the land between Cao Cao and himself. This would lead to a showdown with Cao Cao, and ultimately to a new age of Wu rule. This was Zhou Yu's plan to split the land in two. However, protecting Nanjuin was none other than Cao Cao's cousin, Cao Ren. This formidable opponent was said to be nearly invulnerable in a defensive battle. Further, yet another man threatened to cast a dark cloud over Zhou Yu and his carefully crafted plans. How's it look, Ding Feng? The enemy is holed up in the castle and taking a defensive position. It will be most difficult to attack from head on. Additionally, it appears that Liu Bei's army has also set up camp there. Huh? What's that all about? Is he planning to fight alongside us? No. We do not have such an arrangement. Zhuge Liang, what are you plotting? Okay, fire, so this one. You're quite a strange one, aren't you? Despite that tough exterior, you're all soft on the inside. What could be more soothing to the soul than beautiful scenery? Perhaps you would like to join me sometime. The two of us? Uh, no thanks. I think I'll pass. Very well then. Suit yourself. So Liu Bei is here as well. It would be nice to be able to see him again. That's one nice thing about the map in, um, the camp map in Dynasty Warriors 8. It tells you where the officers are. I fight on behalf of Lord Sun Quan. Alright, I think that's it for officers, unless, no. First, we must take out the surrounding bases, and then we can concentrate on the castle. Do not let down your guard. We must be wary of Cao Cao and Liu Bei as well. Alright! Finally, I get to see some action! The enemy defenses are sound. We will have to break them down base by base. What is okay, two? <laughs> you face me alone? But what do you seek with such a bat? This is but a temporary setback. You've got no chance against me. 
We need to protect this area at all costs. I actually don't this remember this battle very well in this game. The babbling of the brook cleanses my very soul. Leave lines like that to Joe Yu, will you? You sound like a damn fool when you say that stuff. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. Everybody wait here for now. Say so. Everybody attack on my command. Taking out the enemy camp will decide this battle. The enemy believes that Lord Zhou Yu is injured. They're moving forward. Hey, you might have let me in on the secret first. So, we're drawing the enemy out. Okay, then, huh? I think there's actually. They do a fire attack here. Like I'm a bank of dark clouds for a burst. Liu Bei's silence is unnerving. I don't care what he's up to. We just have to get in there and take Nanjun. Liu Bei's forces helped us at Tier B. They'll help us again. Begin making defensive preparations. We will need them soon. battle will determine the final victor. Give it everything you have. Halt! Don't think you can escape from me. We have to draw the enemy out further. The success of this plan rests upon us. The time is now. This is our chance to finish off the enemy for good. I really don't like um Gandhi's default Musu in this game. It's not very good. What's his fucking one? Okay. You base on this instead of waiting around. Those thieves trying to steal our glory. Retreat. This is not the end. A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. Okay. Now I think I can start advancing. Maybe? Or am I supposed to wait for those three officers? Use the 
can to show you. So you would face me in battle, would you? Very well. You're not getting away! How could I be beaten in battle? You've got no chance against me! I guess I need to pick up the pace. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. What do you lot think you're doing? You're trying to pick a fight, huh? Cao Cao is my lord's arch enemy. We are simply taking care of matters that concern us. I'm sick of waiting around! The fate of my troops lies in my hands. I cannot fail them. You will learn to regret this moment. This cannot have happened. Here we not go. To me. Fairly simple battle. Nanjun is now under our control. Next, we must look to Xiang Yang. My lord, Xiang Yang has fallen to Guan Yu. What? Ugh. Zhuge Liang. He's always one step ahead. told us all it was a lie that you were injured. I... I thought I could hold out until we had Xiong Yang. Hey, pull yourself together! Despite much hardship, Zhou Yu managed to seize Nanjuin and obtain Xiong Yang, which was so vital to his strategy. And soon after that, Jing cities of Wuling, Changsha, Lingling, and Guiyang also fell. When Zhou Yu fell injured and his ranks fell into confusion, Liu Bei struck a crippling blow and seized all that Wu had worked so hard to earn. Meanwhile, Cao Cao had recovered from his defeat and again posed a threat. With Cao Cao before them and Liu Bei behind them, his health deteriorating, Zhou Yu put everything he had left into one last strategy. A strategy that would save the kingdom that his fallen friend and Sun Quan had worked so hard to build. It would be Zhou Yu's final strategy, the marriage of Sun Shangxiang to Liu Bei. I never dreamed that you and I would end up like this. <laughs> well, I always had a feeling that we might. Farewell, my lady. Leanne Sure, thank you for everything. I wanted to take you with me, but I know that there is someone here who needs you even more than I. <laughs> take good care of my brother.
this marriage will be as a chain upon Liu Bei. It will prevent him from attacking Wu. My sister seems happy. Even though she is being used as a pawn. As a leader of men, you have a long way to go to match your father's legacy. And your ambition pales beside that of your brother. I know. <clears throat> and therein lies your strength. Your awareness of your own weakness means you have to put considered plans in place to win. You may be weak, cowardly, and devious, but in the end, that is why you will be victorious. Your words mean the world to me. I will not forget. <sighs> and I have done all I have to. Yeah, Joe Yu! I love how Joe Yu just casually wrote Sun Quan there. Alright, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.